Hello people of the internet, it's Jan Beta, and today we're going to talk about something called USB OTG. So what on earth is USB OTG? USB, we all know, it stands for Universal Serial Bus. Yeah, it's not a bus like in car, but a bus like in uh, transporting data, not people. Yeah, that's USB. You basically know the little plugs that go everywhere, uh, USB sticks, USB cameras, USB whatnot. Um, so what does OTG mean? OTG means on the go. That's sort of like means it's portable. Yeah. USB is portable anyway because the plugs are only very small. Uh, yeah, so what does OTG really mean? It means that on your smartphone or your tablet you often have a USB socket that looks something like this. Well, yeah. That's an USB micro jack of the type B. So, and if you want to connect something like an USB stick that has this connector to your tablet, which has this connector, which is the USB micro, um, yeah, you basically, yeah, it doesn't work. Some smart people had the idea that you could build an adapter to make this, the USB micro jack, uh, your input jack for USB. So you need a kind of adapter from the, from a big USB socket, USB A like this, like the USB, uh, the usual USB plugs and USB sticks look. This is a socket of that kind. You need something like this that has an adapter with a USB micro uh, plug on it. So here's what a normal USB plug looks like. It has basically four connectors one, two, three, four. One of them being the voltage, the other one being data line, and another data line, plus and minus, positive and negative data, and a ground pin. So this is five volts, the data is transported through the data lines. It's all nice and tidy. What's difficult is that the USB micro socket has five lines. Five. And yeah, they basically, there's the ground, there's another line that's called the sense line most of the times, there's data minus, data plus, and voltage. So yeah, um, so you could for your adapter, just go and make something like the voltage goes to the voltage pin, the voltage from the data minus goes to the data pin, the data plus goes to the other data, the ground goes to the ground, and then there's one left. And what some really smart people that can probably uh, draw a bit better than me did to make the tablets and the smartphones aware that there's a USB OTG um, thing connected to the little micro USB port um, is they made the convention that on the USB OTG port the ground and the sense are connected. And that's the only difference from the usual USB micro USB plugs so what I'm going to try today is to make an adapter from a USB um, A socket to a USB micro um, plug 
that is a USB micro OTG plug so that you can connect a hard disk or a mouse or a USB stick to your tablet or smartphone. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna take uh, this USB cable, you've seen that before, with uh, the socket and it has the yeah, the wires are nice and tidy. The ground is uh, the one that's wound around here. It's also the shielding of the USB cable. Uh, voltage negative is black, as it's the convention. Voltage positive is red. The data lines are green and white. Most of the times the green data line is the positive data line and the white data line is the negative data line. Sometimes the negative is also blue. So what we're gonna do is to take this little USB micro plug I bought that has connections that are supposed to be at least halfway solderable. <laughs> you can buy these for quite cheap. Um, you can also try to use um, um, a USB micro cable and cut open the, the plug and try to get to the connectors there and just connect the, the right cables to the right spots here. Um, I found that to be really, really um, tiny and not really, yeah, it's not really easy to, to solder in that little space. So I'm sticking with this thing and hope that I can um, make this cable work. So I'm gonna tin all the little contacts, feed it up the soldering iron here, go and tin these. So they are easier to solder, basically. So that's the ground connection. We have to connect that later to the sense wire. So the data plus, the green one, goes to the second pin. Yeah, this is not very easy, especially if you're as tired as I am. So this is the second pin and it's supposed to be the data one. Data one, and the third one is supposed to be the positive rail of the voltage. So that's the red wire. So on the bottom side There is the negative data rail as well as the negative voltage rail, the ground. So the negative thing can go to the ground lead here, I guess. Two is the data. So this is supposed to be the data pin. So, and the other pin is the sense wire and also the negative wire. So we're just gonna strip the black one a little more and use it as a connection between the ground and 
the um, sense. I guess maybe that's a good idea. So we're gonna bend this so that it connects on the ground. Yeah, that's yeah, that could be working. I guess we're gonna try. So apply some solder. And we bend it upwards like this, so it connects to the pin here. So yeah, that seems connected. And we're also connecting the black wire and the shield, which I guess are connected anyway. The ground and the shield should be connected. So, these are connected. Let's check if we have any shorts in there. Yeah. Maybe we can call this an USB OTG cable now. Not quite sure if it works. But let's try, shall we? So here's my tablet, which is an ancient uh, Nexus 7, uh, the 2012 model, which I recently bought for really cheap. So I just have a, a tablet to play around with. So yeah, now we're gonna try if the cable we just made works as an OTG cable or if it breaks the tablet. So. Yeah, bear with me. Yeah, at least it didn't go off. So maybe it works and we can. Let's just put a little USB stick in there. And see if it works. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Oh yeah. It's showing some logo there. Seems to be that it works, kind of. I don't know if you have to, maybe on the memory. Yeah, look at that. The USB. And it's a 16 gig USB stick. And it says 15.22. Yeah. This worked, guys. So let's see what we can do with the with the USB. Hmm. I don't really know how this works. Oh, there, there it is, USB. Yeah, and there's a whole lot of pictures on there. USB. There's a whole lot of pictures on there. Street art pictures. Yeah, it works. That's nice. So I can um, maybe apply some electrical tape to this um, and close the little plug. There's these um, pieces of a case for the plug that came with it. And I basically have made my own USB OTG cable. And I showed you guys how to do it. Not that hard. Um, yeah, seems to work. You can also buy these um, for, uh, I guess, really, really cheap. But it's always better to make stuff yourself, let me tell you. So yeah, that's it for today, I guess. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, share it, subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, uh, you can give me all your money. Um, you can give me a tiny little bit of your money, which always helps because I don't have a lot of money. Um, there are donate buttons below in the video description. And yeah, they are also on my channel page. So if you are interested in electronics stuff and hacking stuff and how stuff works, you're basically uh, going to enjoy this, I guess, because that's my interest too. And yeah, I'm planning on making a lot of videos because it's quite fun. If you have comments about this, um, if I did it horribly wrong, uh, yeah, just post comments 
in the comment section. If you have questions, I'll try and answer them. Um, yeah, so basically, that's it. Stay tuned for more. I'm Jan Beta. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hello, people of the internet. It's Jan Beta, and today we're going to talk about.